Hi, I'm Mark Logan. Welcome to the Photographer Academy. And today we're talking boudoir and posing on the sofa. What I've put together for you is a quick 12 easy flow series of poses for you. So if you're just getting going in boudoir, if you're looking to add something into the mix, then basically this is it. Um, in this session, we're not looking at the lighting. We're looking at just the flow pose. So you can kind of confidently after doing this six or seven times actually really roll from one thing to another okay got Kelsey with us today uh, one of our amazing models that kind of it's uh, great to actually work and quit all the time but remember everything that we're doing today pretty much all the poses will fit most body shapes the only thing you've got to watch out for especially when uh, some of the laying down or the kind of going into the kneeling position you've just got to watch actually how the uh, specifically the belly and the boobs kind of react to gravity so that's the only thing you've got to be aware of and you obviously adapt everything we do to suit the client in front of you uh, we've kept Kelsey in a, a white body uh, shooting it against the black sofa trying to make it nice and easy for you to see uh, but we should be able to actually go through a simple kind of flow in about 10 minutes for you to get some good ideas. Right, let's bring in the model and we'll get on with the shoot. So we've got Kels Kelsey on set. Hi, Kels. <laughs> yeah. um, let's start off in the most basic of way anyway. Kelsey, we come into the middle of the sofa just a little bit more and let's just drop the legs out to this side, let the knees flop over towards here and just have a simple lean. Okay, so this is our kind of sim simple kind of cross-legged shot. Remember, we're really not looking at window lighting or flash lighting. We are just explaining about the posing element, okay? So there's a lovely, lovely soft way to start. If you want to quickly develop this, you can just lean onto the arm. You can lean it back into the, cor uh, the corner of the sofa. You can do quite a lot here and things, really. Um, the biggest kind of transformation is when we're going to lean her uh, down. So, uh, Kelsey, if you lean just back as you are into the actual sofa for me, that's lovely there. Bring um, this leg to a point, so point this toe just a touch more. Can you roll onto the hip just like this side a little bit more for me? That's lovely just there. And again, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So that's our kind of sat and leaning image and things really. Now, usually we're going to be using a lot more to kind of dynamic light, but we've kept it as simple as we can for you today. Let's do the same thing, but go into the sat lay. So Kelsey, if you move your bottom right down to this end more, and you're going to be laying down actually more onto your back for me. If you, can you really lay on your back a little bit more for me? That's lovely. And just here, that's gorgeous. A little lean with the head into here. That's beautiful in there. So we've got a simple flat lay. Now remember, these can all be refined by just move, uh, moving the kind of the legs position and so on. Just actually bring this uh, left knee higher than the other one for a minute. There you go, just, just there. And straight away, it's the same kind of pose, but it's just a little bit more refined. So remember, refining the image, just kind of we're going from here. Let's go into the slat sat for me and the Cleopatra. So let's just move your bottom up there, leaning onto this end of the, so uh, the sofa more. Come up a little bit higher and twist the body around towards me a little bit. Let this uh, foot just go underneath the other leg a touch. There you go. Bring the other knee uh, leg just away a touch more. Bring this bottom foot towards me out just a touch. There you go. That's lovely there. Okay, that's gorgeous. Relaxing the hands. Remember, if we're going to do hands, pinch in the thumb with the two middle fingers all the time. It actually gives a little bit more grace just there. And then from here, we can do the laying Cleopatra. So let's kind of lay on the back for me, please, Kelsey. So it's just moving the butt down as far as you can to that side. More, 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 more. There we go. And just laying down. Let's bring the hands back just a touch more. Now we need to bring this knee across to me. So just bring this knee just there. That's gorgeous. And just there. That's beautiful. And we've done our kind of laying a Cleopatra image with no problem at all then. So now let's go into the flat lay. So it's actually laying on the back. So Kelsey, just pop the feet up into either the corner or on the edge of the sofa there for me. And basically laying back here, just you can stretch the hands up to the top if you want. Lower this arm a touch, that's beautiful, just there. And remember, once more, we can swap the knees around. So point the left knee higher and drop the other one away. That will stretch out. Remember, point, uh, pointing the toes all the time, fingers to thumb, all that lovely kind of little grace and things, really. Let's go back into the laying um, on the um, your back. So let's kind of lay back in the butt, yeah? So let's now do the classic. So we're going to just push up with the boobs a little bit more, try and keep a, cr a little bit of a space between the, uh, uh, the body and the sofa itself. And that's there. Kelsey, just push up. There you go, darling. You're there. 
That's relax. That's quite a hard, a hard one to do, okay? So remember that anyway. Um, but we've got that simple kind of flow. Kelsey, let's flip onto your belly for me if you can. Or let's do the turn away and we'll, we can do the flow. So let's do the Cleopatra butt. So just bring that foot down as well for me. This is, um, and push the uh, left, so your right, your right knee away from me more. That's lovely, it's there, and keep that. And that's what the kind of the Cleopatra butt shot is. So it's actually just gives us a great kind of shape and things. Uh, and then basically, if we go laying onto the belly for me, so it's a complete roll. Let's let the legs go up high. That's lovely, a little bit of a, you can either cross the feet here or let them stretch towards the sofa. Um, bring this arm a little bit lower for me just to here. Twist open to me a little bit more. That's gorgeous there, it's gorgeous. A little lean with the head on here, excellent, relax. Um, we can change this again, remember the hand position, the feet, uh, the feet position, so Kelsey, if you just bring that left hand just up onto the top of the sofa a little bit, lean the head in towards that hand, uh, you can then almost kind of move the hand down, the kind of the body, and so on and so on, okay? So let's uh, now kind of um, go into a cat. So in fact, let's do the butt shot first, shall we, as we're there, let's push the butt right up in the air, let's lose, so let's go faceless anyway, so the head, uh, the head down, once more, crossing the feet just a touch more, that's gorgeous, keep it, relax. That's a really good kind of good close-up shot and obviously it's much better when the light comes from behind as well, but we've got a nice flow. Let's go into a cat stance. So that's basically up on the four paws, so it's up on the knees, up up onto the hands, one knee forward to the other. Let's do the closed cat first, so move that front forward there, that's brilliant, lean the head again, great, love it. Let's do the open cat, so just swap the legs. It's just a development really, like we said. And that's great if we go to faceless as well, if you drop the face down and relax. So that's a really kind of good uh, flow. Uh, we've done the kind of the butt knee. Let's do the butt kneel in fact. So let's kind of just push the butt up as much as we can again. So remember this would be a close, let's go face, uh, faceless again. Again would be good for a close up. Let me just uh, focus. That's relax. And then let's do the last shot, which is the Drunken Maiden. <laughs> I won't go into the, uh, the Shanti song for it, I promise you. Kelsey, um, just put the feet up to that corner and just come over the edge of the sofa just a little bit more. Come over the edge just a little bit more for me. Get right over the edge. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. That's gorgeous. Bring the one hand just towards the hair. That's lovely. And that's our Drunken Maiden. And relax, Kelsey. Good posing flow there. So what we've got there is a lovely flow for the sofa, uh, the sofa. Remember, the lighting will bring more drama to the image no matter what. Um, simple instruction. Uh, I didn't need to kind of go up to the client or the model. Try and work from your camera position. I'm just using a 50 mil len lens today just to actually work for the full length images. But remember, for every shot that I've just done, probably there's gonna be two or three different photographs I'm gonna take of the same thing with a slight adjustment to the leg, the arm, the hand, and as well as the camera viewpoint, as well as obviously how close I am or kind of more dis distance. Remember the fundamental kind of tips for boudoir photography is don't shoot from the same position too, of uh, too often. So in other words, even though we're doing the session flow here for you, really what you wanna be doing is kind of getting the shot, then move in straight away, then kind of adjust in the pose, come back to the full length or the three quarter length, whatever you're doing, and then obviously kind of just really give, give yourself a maximum variety. And once you've kind of learned your own little flow, you're gonna soon adjust to what the client is best at. So in other words, you can know body shape, you can know the fitness, and you know pretty much what you're gonna be able to get away with straight away. Hope you've enjoyed this quick film. See you on the next one, bye-bye. <laughs>